What is going on guys, Brown Simmons Comics, back once again to give you my picks for comic books that are hitting final order cutoff this very weekend, leading all the way up to Monday. Have some great picks this week. It is very indie specific. I do have some big two books, mostly Marvel to throw in there, but these videos from now on are concentrated more on the indie comic side because that's what speaks to me and we're gonna get into it right now. Starting with IDW, we get that Canto. Number three, Lionhearted. We get that Canto, Lionhearted, number six of six. That's right, this is that finale issue. Not for Canto, but for this series. And this is one series that I'm just as excited for this issue as I am from the very beginning of Canto. Time and time again, this series is held up. It's gotten critical acclaim, it's gotten fan acclaim, animated movie on the way. Everyone that reads Canto loves Canto. Issue number six hits final cut off this weekend. Make sure you get it in your pre-order. And like I always say, often with that pre-order, you get yourself a little bit of a discount. Also from IDW, we get G.I. Joe Saturday Morning Adventures. That's right, this is a new series. It's based on that 80s G.I. Joe cartoon, which a lot of us grew up on. And they say we are introducing the biggest threat to G.I. Joe yet with the Aladdin Initiative. This has a couple covers for it. I like this because, yes, I grew up on that G.I. Joe cartoon. I still watch it on Tubi or YouTube. My kids have started watching it. Pew, 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 pew. Still a great cartoon. Excited to pick up this series. Also, news just hit. We've talked about it on this channel before. Robert Cookman from Skybound was looking to buy the publishing rights for G.I. Joe. And we just got news that we do know for sure G.I. Joe is leaving IDW by the end of the year, but we don't know who is getting it yet. So stay tuned for that. I've heard rumors outside of Robert Kirkman for other publishers that have also looked to get rights for G.I. Joe and Transformers. So it'll be interesting to see. Either way, I'm excited to pick this series up. Also, one of the books from Marvel, which isn't new because it just came out, but we get that Death of Doctor Strange Bloodstone number one. It's getting a second print that's hitting FOC this weekend. That's gotten a lot of attention, especially with Lyra Bloodstone or Lyra Bloodstone. I'm probably saying it wrong. Don't let that get in the way of the importance of this book and why a lot of people are picking it up. So if you're interested in that second print, make sure you get your pre-ordering because that's hitting FOC this weekend as well. Sticking with Marvel for a second, one book a lot of people are probably interested, I know I'm interested in, is we're getting another Ghost Rider series. That's right, Ghost Rider number one, which of course is concentrating on Johnny Blaze. This one's gonna have a bunch of different covers for it too, just within Marvel. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of store exclusives. So this is one I'm interested in the story, or if there's a cover that you like, pick that up. It's gonna be hard to go Pokemon style and collect them all because there's a bunch of covers for it. But if you are interested, also make sure you check with your local comic book store or online because a lot of times if there's a lot of covers, they might bundle them up together and sell them as a lot and you can save a discount on that. So if you're interested in all those covers, it doesn't hurt to ask about that. Either way, there's a bunch of great artists. This is also written by Ben Percy. Love Ben Percy as a writer. Ghost Rider, we all have that new hype from Moon Knight. It's on Disney Plus. There's rumor of Ghost Rider showing up somewhere within these Disney Plus series and possibly getting their own or in the MCU. But take the media out of the side. The comic book series alone is definitely worth picking up, especially if you're not a Ghost Rider fan. Issue number one is always a great jumping on point. Getting back over into indies, there's a new publisher. Actually, this publisher is not really new, but they're starting to gain momentum, get a lot of steam. Bradley Golden, he's written a lot of books before. They also have their own publisher in Second Sight Publishing. They're known to publish a lot of horror comics. This FOC, they are really pounding the pavement. They got multiple titles hitting Final Cut Off, but there's a couple that really caught my eye, and those are Forsaken number one, Freak Show Kingdom number one, and These Damn Kids number one. Those titles alone, without even putting the cover art up, interest me enough just to pick them up. Especially if you love horror comics, the, the cover art on these are fantastic. Second Sight Publishing, make sure you guys are following them on Twitter as well. They do a great job of interacting with the community and letting the community know what books are coming up, what they're working on, and there's even options. There's even some titles that have been optioned within Second Sight Publishing already. So I'm excited to support an indie creator, but even more so I'm excited to pick up some of these new series and give them a read. Getting over to Vault Comics, 
This one is not a new release, it's actually a re-release, and we're getting Heathen number one. This is celebrating the fifth anniversary of the release of this title, and Vault is calling it the Vault Reserve. This is kind of one of those first titles that got Vault on the radar of a lot of readers. Natasha Alta Ritchie, great title on this, especially if you're into Norse mythology. There is option, there's already a screenplay writing for this. So that's on the horizon. And they're promising each issue are gonna have new and rare covers as well as exclusive back matter. Kind of like the Marvel's director's cut, it's gonna have additional information within these single issues but i like the idea of this relaunch i like the idea of people rem of vault reminding people hey these are some great titles and if you don't want to go out and get some of these on the secondary market because some of the prices are pretty high here's a chance for you to get it again and if you're a floppy collector you can get the single issues in this deluxe collector's edition but it's single issues with different covers as well as covers you have not seen previously so i'm excited for this loved heathen the first time i don't know i'm gonna order issue number one i don't know if i'm on for the whole the whole ride for this one but depending on what those covers look like i just may be and then getting over to image comics friend of the channel fantastic writer david boer congratulations has just been nominated for his comic book writing by glad for some glad awards specifically for his killer queens title but that's not the series i'm here to talk about rain from Image Comics, we get issue number two, David Brewer, Joe Hill, two great writers within the comic industry, especially when it comes to horror and storytelling. But Rain number one, issue was well received. I really enjoyed it. I'm picking up issue number two. There is more than one cover for it, as well as an incentive one in 25 and an incentive one in 50 variant. But congratulations again to David Brewer. That's two titles from David Brewer on this week's FOC between Canto and Rain. Looking forward to more. In addition to my FOC picks, sponsor and friend of the channel, The 616 Comics. Check them out at the616comics.com. They have some great store exclusives hitting their website this week. They always have great variants, always have great artists, and they also collaborate with other retailers. So here is what they have on the website this coming week, starting with X-Men number eight, they have a Mike McCone variant. They have a trade dress version for $15, or they have that Virgin variant version, which is available for $30, as well as a buy two, get one free deal going on. That went up for sale on the 21st of January, but they also have some stuff coming up this week, such as Gwenverse number one by Sabine Rich. That also is limited to $15 for the trade and $30 for the Virgin with the buy two, get one free deal on that as well. And that will be going up Monday, the 24th of January. And there's also great news, the 616 Comics is launching their mobile app. It's available on Google Play right now, coming soon to Apple iPhone. If you use that Google Play app, you can get early access to that variant launch at 6 p.m. Eastern. So make sure for Android phones, Google phones, you download the 616 Comics app and be ready for those early launch periods, as well as I'm sure there's gonna be stealth drops coming up. So there's another great avenue to pick up some of those books. But we have even more coming this week. Josh Burns, one of my favorite, favorite artists, does a lot of great Zenoscope work, does a lot of exclusive variant work, but he's doing another exclusive for John at the 616 with Invincible Red Sonja number eight. 1999, limited to just 500 copies, come with Certificate of Authenticity, or you can also bundle that with the other exclusive variant they got going up this weekend. And that is that Vampirella Dracula Unholy number three. It too is up for sale on the 26th of January, limited to 500 for $19.99, or again, bundle it with that Invincible Red Sonja, both of those for $34.99. So all those are going up on the 616 comic site this coming week. There it is, guys. Those are my picks for FOC. I told you I am going indie heavy this year. But if I see something I like from Marvel, I'm definitely putting in this video. Let me know what you guys are picking up. Let me know what you guys are seeing on FOC. There's a lot of great FOC videos out there right now. So let me know in the comments what you guys are reading, what you guys are picking up. And if you haven't done so, please click that thumbs up button. And even more, if you aren't already, please consider subscribing. This is Brown with Superman's Comics. See you guys in the next video. New kid on the playground yeah. So many bags on me You would've thought I was a spray ground Now they know I don't play around no. I can hear what you're saying now no. I just doubled up my flight miles yeah. Coast to coast, no they ain't a
Peace out. I get rich, watch.